DM Toy Club. Are you subscribed? On our Bob the Builder video, talking about all of our construction equipment, all the different utensils, all the tools that we use when we're building things. We're going to go over these again and we're going to talk in detail about each one of them. Now, Bob the Builder's not here today, but I know he'll be back soon. That would be his hat right there. His hat, he's actually out right now, but when he gets back, we'll do another show. We've had a lot of feedback from everybody wanting to know a little bit more about our tools. So today we are going to get into detail and talk about each and every one of these awesome, awesome tools and then talk about what they do. So stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're ready to go. We're going to pick up our first tool and we're going to talk about what we can do with each one of them. This is a socket wrench. Socket wrenches are perfect when you've got certain types of lug nuts that this little octagon shape will actually sit on. So what you do is you take that and you put that right on top of, for instance, one of these. We'll get a smaller one here. Here we go. So this one is a socket that fits right on top of this screw. See, this screw actually can do two different two ways you can tighten it. You can use a Phillips screwdriver on the top, or you can use the socket wrench, and you put it right on top of that one there, and you just turn it around, and you can tighten it no matter where you use it. So let's just let's do an example. Let's show you exactly how this works. See so if we can find the right size. Okay, so you have your wood, right, and you drill a hole inside of your wood. Once you've got the hole there, you want to use a screw, and it's got to fit inside there perfectly. So we put that on top, we start it a little bit there with our hands, you can see it coming through the bottom right there, it's already coming through, then you take your socket wrench, you put it on top, and you turn that around, and you keep tightening that until it goes all the way down. That's how that works. I won't go all the way with that, it'll take a little too much time, but we'll go ahead and screw it down with our hands so you can see. Once you've used that socket wrench and you tighten that up, it goes all the way through. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So we've got that. That's our socket wrench, and it's got two sides. And most socket wrenches will have different sizes. One will be a large and one will be a small size. So it'll fit different sizes. Next up, we have, we're going to show you the vise. This is an adjustable vise. See that there? Looks like it's the letter C, right? So this can be clamped to two pieces of wood. So let's say that you've got two pieces of wood and you want to take these two and you want to secure these two pieces of wood, right? So you put them together, put them on top like that. And you take your vise you put it on top of the wood, just like that, and then you tighten it from the bottom up. So as we, it's a little tricky when I don't have my helper, when Bob the Builder is not here, it's a little tricky. But we tighten it up, okay, straighten out the wood, make sure that's, there we go, All right? So you want to keep these two pieces of wood together while you're putting a screw in there, then you use a vise. This is like a clamp, a C-clamp, that's also called. A lot of people call them with different names, but it's a really a vise. You keep twisting this and you tighten that up. See, and that holds those two pieces of wood perfectly together. So then you can drill and put whole screws, all, all kinds of good stuff. Then you can loosen it up when you're done, and then you can take the wood apart. So those are called uh, vices or C-clamps. Sometimes people call them C-clamps because, again, they look like the letter C. Very cool, very cool tool. That one's nice. So we also have, we have our Phillips screwdriver, right? One is called Phillips. That's the one that has the four heads, four tips. See that? It's got one, two, three, four. It's a Phillips screwdriver, and then we have a flathead kind of a funny name, flathead, but it's actually just flat. 
So what we use these for are different types of screws. Some screws, put that down over there, come with the Phillips head. See, we showed this earlier? That's a Phillips head. We take the Phillips, we put that inside, that fits inside those four sides, and then you can just screw that down. You can screw that right into the wood. See that? Four sides. It's called the Phillips. It fits inside there. Now, sometimes, Certain screws will have a flat head. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So this one has kind of a flat head on the top. If you see that right there? Straight across. Okay, so we take our flat head screwdriver and that goes right on top of that and then you can screw that into the wood because it has that flat line straight across. I'm going to use a flat head. All right, so that's a that's the first couple of, of pieces of equipment that we're going to talk about today, and we're going to do another video, and I'll show you another one in a couple of minutes. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, and uh, remember, Bob the Builder will be back today. I'll have him back here on the show, and we'll do another one.
Hey guys, we got this awesome tool set. We're going to take a look at some new tools today. We've got our bulldozers and our cement trucks. We've got our drill and hammer. Let's take a look at all of our cool toys. Let's do it. All right, guys. First up, we've got our pliers. These are really cool. These are actually sharp enough to cut any type of screw or nail. You simply put it inside that opening there and snip it. And that cuts up. These are pliers. Take a look at this one. This is our file. This is our metal file. You take a file, you put it on the end of a nail or a screw, and you file it down straight. This is one of the coolest things we've got in our tool set. Next up, flathead screwdriver. You want to know why they call it flathead? Because it's flat. That's right. It's flat in the front. See? There's nothing like it. It's not like a Phillips. This is called a Phillips screwdriver because it's not flat in the front. It's got four sides. Flathead and a Phillips. Now let's take a look at our drill. This thing actually works. Check out our drill. You ready for this? Pretty cool drill, huh? This baby can almost screw in a screw. But it is a toy. It's not real. Let's check out our hammer. The next one is our hammer. And of course you know what we do with hammers. Ow. Okay, that's not good. Now we've got our saw. That's right. These blades are so sharp, they can cut through anything. 
I definitely could use that on some wood, that's for sure. Then we've got our wrench. It's actually two-sided, two-sided wrench, one. And believe it or not, you can actually use this side too. Very cool, it comes in different sizes. Let's see if we can find a different one. Yep, we did. There it is, oh, gotta go this way. See that one, same type, but only bigger. Look at how big it is compared to this wrench. It's huge. Now we have our small hammer. Look at the size of this little guy. This one's tiny for little jobs, and this one is big for big jobs. Little, big. All right, let's move on to our next tool. And we've got our miniature saw. This one's for wood. You can cut wood with this. This one actually cuts metal. You can cut metal with this one. This is the type used only for wood. Wood saw, metal saw. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Move on to our ball peen, ball peen hammer it's called. It's got two different, it's like a mallet on one side and it's curved on the other. This is different than this one. This is a traditional hammer. And you see this part right here? That part pulls out all the nails if you make a mistake. That's right. So what else do we have? We've got our adjustable wrench. Look at this baby, this one's the coolest because it actually adjusts. You can open it up. You see that opening? You simply move this little, this little piece right here back and forth, and it opens and closes its mouth. It's an adjustable wrench, number 89, 68. Cool stuff. This is different than this one. You can adjust this, but this one, this one's not. You can't adjust the tip of that, just that one. All right, let's go move on. Oh, this is another type of, this is like a plumber's wrench. These are for big jobs. When plumbers tighten up the pipes, when they're working on your sink or your tub or your toilet. Ew, toilets. This one works amazing. Again, you can adjust it right here. 